You saw how Yaz plays, right? Yeah. She fucking so spans him into a freaking corner. <laughs> and then beats the shit out of him in the corner like every yeah. fuck in the streets. In the corner. Uh, but those were the good old days when Smash Brothers made sense. And the, the freaking star, the star rod did the ri most ridiculous amount of damage. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, right. you're just hitting it from a distance, the star hits you and it sent you flying. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now the star hits you, it just does a little bit of damage. I only have the Wii, I only have the Wii one as a reference. Because, like, Kirby skill, I know one of my friends just spams that little rock skill, you know, like, oh, up and right. down. He changes colors and after emotions on the on his return to dreamland. <laughs> yes. And uh recent game I've I have I have enjoyed very much playing was Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh yeah. yeah. Very much appreciated by me and I don't know about Mr. F. I played him. Trust me, I played him. I feel like he plays more like a detective than a lawyer. He is more of a detective than a lawyer. Yeah, that's know, the whole right? point of the but game. That that's it, if it was just him being a lawyer without trying, that'd be a sad story. Other than that, it's been very. It was a very interesting day when I first played the first game, finding out the mystery of life. Like I thought, that's what mock trial would be like. Find freaking evidence, then just <laughs> do it. Now, if you're a real lawyer in the world, real world, you have this option of doing it, but you may get caught by the police. So in Japan, you best watch your ass. Or they will actually... That's why I'm banned from Japan. <laughs> Are you really banned from Japan? Or is your other namesake banned from Japan? My other namesake. What? <laughs> His other decoding name you will find out soon in the year. If you ever visit Japan, you'll be find him on the most wanted list in some weird <laughs> at some weird way, at some weird time, for some weird law that he didn't even know he committed until they made it into a law, which screws him over. But the third one is just whatever I can think of. Brutal Legend from my past memories. The only interest. Oh yeah, you know what? Screw Brutal Legends. The one I enjoyed the most out of all of this was the video game Jackass. That's that was a video game. That was a video game. Like I've only no. watched the movie. <laughs> yes, you see, see, it's actually underappreciated because mostly it's just mini games of dumb shit you could do that Jackass has done done crazily, but it was fun as hell. You can destroy a car, you can shoot paintballs at Wee Man and the fat guy, you get to drive a shopping cart down a fucking hill onto a mattress, or I think it was a, <laughs> a small pool of water, <laughs> or uh, do some other crazy shit. It was fun those days, back when people didn't give a fuck whether you got hurt or not. Uh, those were the days we didn't oh. fuck up as much. But other than that, what controversies have you and Mr. E, Mr. F, whatever case, up there, Mr. F and Mr. N have gone through? About what? What type of controversy? What do you see most in games that really either interests you or messes you up a lot? Um, <clears throat> they keep advertising them too much. What? Astro. Oh, overhyping them. Yeah, over oh yeah, overhyping. Like Fucking. a lot of games, apparently. Uh, now, nah, like apparently, some of the good games they don't even have any hype, you know. But then when you play it, you're like, they're very good. Uh, I think. Yeah. When okay. take Destiny for example. Yeah. I fucking hate it after a while. <laughs> okay, Destiny was the example. Was the perfect example of like really overhyped, but did not pay off pretty know, well, right? pretty good. But like people would like quite literally. Like, get mad and tell you, like, no, it's one of the good best games ever. Of course. Uh, not really. The same goes for Witcher 3 when they overhyped yeah, it too much. Like, and I played it. So I, I played it, like, oh my, it's not that much, it's not that good. I saw a trailer for it. I, it seemed amazing till seeing a little bit of gameplay and yeah, possibly more. trying a demo. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, I mean, the game is pretty cool to play, but it's just like, it doesn't. It's suit for everyone, you know? Yeah, it's not really for everyone. The concept sounded good, but it was too overhyped, you know? Yeah. You got your hopes up. Yeah, but when you play the game, it's like, okay, it's pretty. It does really well. It's very but the, pretty. But the thing is that it doesn't catch you as much. Because when they're overhyping and telling you it's going to be one of the greatest, game, greatest games ever. Like, didn't no. they compare it to two other games, like Call of Duty and what, Halo, right? Uh, Call of Duty, I believe, has gone through its bars, because eventually it just starts giving up on the actual, well, 
was an actual campaign. Story? Yeah, an actual yeah, possible no. story, but they just go convert it for a lot to zombies and multiplayer. Yeah. That's all people really care about. Yeah, that's what days. they want. Yeah. Like, those well, type of games, they wanna... they're mostly known for multiplayer, less for thing, and sometimes online. Technically, they just go for multiplayer and just want to kill each other. That's how our society has grown today. <laughs> and thus brings up to this one game I have found out about by a YouTuber named Gaijin Goomba, who... Oh, sh I think I saw a few clips of it. Floors, it's been banned because it's super violent, psychotic, and... Are you talking about hatred? Yes. Hatred, yeah, hatred. Hatred was a real... <laughs> A yes. very violent game. Yeah. Which like, was actually... like Manhunt, but... It's worse. Meaner. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not silently killing people. You're flat out getting a gun and shooting them in the face. Yeah. How do I get buy that game? I don't you know. buy it from Europe. It costs 50 yeah. euros within a month. not Europe. You could, it's a Steam game. You can get it on Steam. Yeah, Steam. I got bored. I never check Steam anymore. I do. I like some of the games. I but I wanted to buy forms. it for, for a console, so... Huh? I looked online. Found it for a console. Europe. Oh, well, well, Europeans have a really peaceful way of saying it costs this much. With a shirt, it'll cost even more. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but I think if you're going to advertise the game, you just got to put like a light touch. Like here where we live, we all know where the best burger joint is, right? Yes. And they didn't no advertisement. It's just word to mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> word to mouth. Yeah. Doesn't that sound familiar? What is the best burger joint, Delano? So far, Elmer. Yes, Elmer's. Oh, Elmer's. No. Yeah. Yes. Like you not, live here, you know it. Oh, only people. Only people I know, but, the, but I'm the person who goes to like Super King. Yeah, you're you're going to Super King. But, but a lot of people like for advertisement purposes, Burger King, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, all of them have that technical technological rights and money for that. But uh, all those little fast food places or little burger joints or little pizza places that are, don't have advertisements are underappreciated or not found on the map. That's why people love Tony's. Yeah, Tony's, yeah, Tony's pretty good. Yeah. Tony's has family. Yeah, family. <laughs> All the little ones. Like they're hella nice, to man. The pizza place. Yeah, like sort of back to the topic. Um, I don't know. Yeah, like games that don't get that much advertisement are usually they're the ones really that good. tend to be really, really good. Either that or the ones that are actually good. And what well, hatred? The reason why it's they're letting it go into that type of advertisement. Because it's free, people are talking bad about it. That's free advertisement for them. That's yeah, the, yeah, but that's the curve them. around the money. Yeah, but that's controversy towards propaganda. No, that's actually controversy to saving money and actual advertisement too. Because like good or bad, you're still getting advertised. It doesn't matter. You yeah, know, people are starting to learn it, and eventually they get to form an opinion on by themselves. Not only that. It. To other people, they would actually learn, lean into it, study a bit more about it, actually look what the hell it's about before making a complete opinion. Because they said it was in a beta stage or some type of shit. I'm not sure anymore. I have yet to look on this shit again. Never try it on an alpha stage. Eventually, they just wipe your data. I would like to get my characters back, please. Yeah, that's, nope, what, that's what an alpha stage is. You know, like eventually they have to wipe it so they can retry. Mm -hmm. Uh, and once again, we have learned a lesson today. Lesson never go for overhyping games usually are bad. No, that we have no idea what we're doing at times, and we would love to learn. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone? No, like, like overhyping sometimes isn't going to be that bad, yeah, as like long it. as it's getting critiqued. It, as not no, as long as it's oh, it's getting hype when you know it was the best game you've ever like, played. I think. Uh, you're better off like underselling something, you know, and then yeah, yeah them... you basically you undersell something like uh, Far Cry Three. Yeah. Far Cry Three didn't get hyped up until um, the game came out, and people were saying it's one of the best games ever. Yeah, that's why you undersell it for them to do it, you know. Yeah, that's I think that's the only time you can actually um, overhype a game because games like Destiny and Call of Duty they get mad if you talk smack about them and say something bad about the game. Yeah. Uh, the worst part is some. Websites to actually do the hyping up for them, like telling them what that's a something out of something. Yeah. Unfortunately, they were paid off, unfortunately, oh, by yeah. the company. Yeah. Like, I'd rather not get into journal, what's it called, gaming journalism, because that's a heavy subject that yeah. we may not be able to recover from. 
Like, the only I'm thing saying, I like I'm doing... Saying, yeah, I know, I know. Like, some companies just want to have a little bit extra to, yeah, but like, to their game. Some companies um do send the games earlier than expected to... Test it out by some actual people from either YouTube or some actual... Yeah, like, people. IGN gets games early, singles yeah. for GameStop. Yep. Um... I forgot who else. And YouTubers only get some games, like Mah- Mahalo. Uh huh. I wonder if he's still up. I haven't seen him in years. Mahalo guy, the Mahalo YouTube channel is just um some guy who puts walkthroughs really? on YouTube. Good. He doesn't That's speak nice. in a single one. No, he doesn't. That's what I love. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! You gotta let him speak. No. Okay. Here's the thing. When I want to watch a commentary on a game. You look it up. I look up for commentaries. But with no commentary. But when I want to look up for when I want to um look a game, because there are games where I cannot, I can't play due to money, or since I don't have the system, so I tend to look up walkthroughs just to see how the game is, and I'm just want I just want to hear the game. That's basically it. And you I don't want to hear some guy in the background like, oh, yeah, this trying, is this. And and oh, trying, shit. Yeah, why and he's I rather trying, hear. yeah, like, he's trying to be funny. He's trying to do his own thing. And don't get me wrong. I can be a huge hypocrite about it, but that's just me. This is our our guest, Mr. F. He will be joining us recently. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. And you cannot you cannot uh, kick him off. But that's the thing. Is like, You're on your own. Yeah. yeah, but that's the thing. is like... Uh, he will give you your Viking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. Like that was just me ranting about it, but you get used to it a lot. Congratulations, your first rant. It's like Mahalo. Back to the topic, what I'm trying to say about Mahalo. Mahalo gets the games early, mm-hmm. or if he doesn't get the games early, he buys it the day it comes out, and he puts walkthroughs automatically. Oh, wow. yeah, that's what I like about him. But like stuff like him, hey, he gets games early. Like Markiplier got. Markiplier gets um, Finance of Freddy's early. I'm pretty sure he's gonna he's gonna um, get Finance of Freddy's four the day before it comes out. Which again, that just seemed to Freddy there just seems like it was a fight to the finish, and he whatever Freddy killed, he just assimilated into himself. Like ah, there can only be one. No I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not. I'm looking forward, but not looking forward to um, the fourth one. Because it ended so perfectly on the third one. Agreed. I'm being serious. It ended so perfectly. I know. Yes. Yeah. But how are they going to continue? Yeah, how do they continue? Yeah. No, but that's the thing. is like, I, I want to see how they continue it. How they're going to pull that off. Yeah. Which, I think we've had, a few of us had this like talk before. Are they going to like or something? No. Uh, a few of us talked about this before. It was, uh, what if they did a whole investigation type of thing? That's what I, that's what, okay. Just I had actually had an original basically. story for that. Yeah. I wanted to, because... People were saying that Finance of Freddy's 2, you were supposed to play some guy yeah. who's investigating the murder. Really, no. And you were supposed to, you were supposed to be able to like walk around the, mm. the pizzeria. But they just have you sitting at a desk with a mask. Yeah, but that was light. just that was just a rumor. It was like I was so hyped up. It was like that actually sounds cool. But it then just saddened you very it much. It's like no, but then I found out that um, it was some other guy who said that he was Scott, but he really wasn't. Aww. Yeah, and so the the only, okay. Scott Coffin Games, the only time you can actually trust the source is if it's coming from him. And he said that himself. 